to me, as I'm looking at this, this is clearly not exactly where the engine needs to be. I feel like we're probably pushed a little too far back on the passenger side. We need to deal with our pendulum mount or our dog bone mount. This was bolted to the Lupo transmission. I think the height difference between the front mount point and the back mount point might be too big, but what we're left with is a gap of about an inch. Right now, we're watching Charles in his natural habitat. <laughs> Not knowing what the hell he's doing. He has no clue what the f is going on. We want to address something that we have seen as to be a major issue, and that is the subframe clearance to certain components. The transmission is the most important one. There is a large lift that is right underneath the subframe that currently the transmission is resting on. And right now, I'm marking it so that when we take the engine out, we can cut that off. In addition, so you can see the oil pans here, we have about a one inch gap between where we think the engine is gonna be and this lip here. And later on, if we need to re-weld it to close it in the seam or whatever, we can address that later on. Oh wow, you did a terrible job well, that. <laughs> No, 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 your marker did a terrible no, job. Just, We're cutting it off, guys. We're not, <laughs> We're not making is, an listen, art project here. This is arts and crafts hour, mm -hmm. and Paul really just needs to go back mm -hmm. to kindergarten. I'm done with this. <laughs> Done. Uh -huh. Look at his dog. <laughs>